Oh. Okay. Luca. Oh, I can't teleport. Uh, <laughs> Bitch. Are you here for some other reason? It's just training for real. It's not like you to be so say. How did you sell your beef with Sparrow? Tell me the juicy details. Ugh, it's a long story. I'll tell you. There are so many of them. Are you sure the fissure only recently opened up? There's quite a few in there. Seems like Boss Farag must have let his guard down. These guys are messing up his turf. Enough talk. Let's clean up this area. Doesn't really seem like him, does it? Strike first. Give up. What are you waiting for? To betray my customers? I charge extra. Let's settle this. The punches decide. Get cocking. Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. I'll see you off. <laughs> Stand still. More business, eh? Too easy. Like the overworld enemies are just no challenge anymore Step out of it. let's settle this Relax. may as well kill them all The applause. Let's see some sparks fly. You're cooking. You chose the wrong end. <laughs> Stand still. <laughs> Cut in the net. <laughs> hey, do we get to feel enemy now? Oh. Ah, oh, no wonder these minions are so active. There's a big fella hiding behind them. So this guy is the source of it all, right? If we take him out, the fragmentum activity in this area should subside for a while. And trial two will be complete. <laughs> That's right. I was gonna say Keep she's up. starting to get into starting it. To get into it, Zila. <sighs> it's been too long since I had a good workout. This will be a nice warm up. All right, we'll charge in once you're ready. Oh, ouch. What are you waiting for? To betray my customers? I charge extra. Just getting started. Step out of it. Relax. Time to say bye. Boom. We're just having fun. Uh -huh. Say bye to breathe. Nearly there. It's not gonna last much longer. <laughs> well, I'll deal the final blow. I'll see you. All. <laughs> Stand still. More business. <laughs> Receive divinity. Thanks. You're oh, too the burning good to me. Quite a bit of damage there. Good times. Never Down last. you go. Time to say bye. Boom. A tough one. Was Good it? Work, guys. Luca, is that everything? Now what? The Multamerville. Oh, not this again. The peerless Boulder champion, defeater of evil throughout the world. <laughs> you. Are you okay? Is this some kind of performance art? Defeater of evil throughout the world. Oh man. Why are you so hyped? What's going on? <laughs> it's just a normal victory celebration. No need to be so alarmed. You call that normal? I might have let it slide if it was in the cage. On second thought, no. That was cringe even by Fight Club standards. 
Ah, don't get so worked up, Zila. I'm thinking clearly. Plus, didn't we just get rid of another major threat to the underworld? True, but quit changing the subject. This new routine of yours is just... <laughs> ah, don't worry. I promise you, it'll only last till the end of my training. Actually, have I been making too many promises today? That's not a good habit. Anyway, there's only one more step in my training plan. Come on, guys, help me wrap it up. Okay, so <sighs> what's next? Too deep. Better let it run its course. So tell us, what else is on the schedule? The final step in this training is to challenge Boss Svarog. Oh boy. Are you sure you're thinking clearly? Whoa, whoa, stay cool, Zila. Like I said, I'm thinking clearly. Every word I said is serious. I set this as the final goal of my training a few days ago. Think about it. Is there any underworld opponent worth challenging more than Boss Sparog? Oh no, I can't agree to this. You're asking for trouble. Forget about winning or losing. The relationship between Wildfire and Sparog only just got patched up. I'm not gonna rile him up. Don't make this more complicated than it is. I'm just inviting him to have a fair fight with me, like how you'd have in the cage. Are you mad? Svarog is a robot. He doesn't understand the rules of the cage. He's different from us. His fists are made of steel. Nah, that means we're evenly matched, right? <laughs> you know what I mean. Don't act smart with me. You don't make any sense. <laughs> I understand what you're saying, Zila. But you know, I'm a fighter. It's my duty to keep training and get stronger. It's a terrible feeling to have a powerful opponent in your head, but never be able to get close to him. It's all thanks to your patching things up with Svarog that I'm able to have this opportunity now. I'm not gonna miss it for the world. <sighs> yeah, just let him do it. All right, fine. We'll go find Svarog and have a nice chat with him. Let me say this first. If he doesn't want to deal with you as a challenger, then we're getting out of there ASAP. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll convince him. But you're right. If he's not in the mood for it, then I won't force him. I haven't really worked with Boss Svalrog before, so please, lead the way. Let's go. Oh, dear. Luca, you... <laughs> Hmm? What's up? Never mind. I get the feeling I'm wasting my breath. Yeah, I think you are. Have you talked to Oleg about going to see Svarog? <laughs> That's all you want to ask? I don't necessarily tell Master Oleg everything, you know. <sighs> <laughs> She's so annoyed with everything. The trailblazer. Zila of Wildfire and Hey! In honor to meet you, Boss Farag, I'm Luca, a senior member of Wildfire, just like Zila. Accessing backend database. Querying. Query complete. Luca, born in Maltamerville, winner of the 28th Bouldertown Viking Challenge, beloved student of Oleg, acting chief of Wildfire. Oh, wow, impressive! <laughs> Thank you for saving me the self-introduction. Luca of Wildfire, what is the purpose of your visit? Straight to the point, just the way I like it. I'm here to challenge you, Boss Svarog. Challenge. Intent unclear. Outsider, Zila of Wildfire, can you provide an explanation? Not really. <laughs> it even says not really. Mm, don't look at me. He's the one who came up with this idea. It's up to you to accept it or not, Svarog. Yep, it's not that complicated. I just want to go a few rounds with the one everyone agrees is the most powerful in the underworld and see where I stand. What do you say? Are you interested? Hmm. Evaluating. Intention. Unclear. Enmity level. Zero. Lie detection. Passed. 
Evaluation completed. The opposing party only came to spar. I agree to fight you, Luca of Wildfire. Uh huh? Hold on. You agree? <laughs> if weapons and gun barrels are unused for prolonged periods of time, the risk of rust damages increases. Periodic use will reduce such risk and extend the life of these components. <laughs> what? That's the worst excuse I've ever heard. Ah, <laughs> see, I told you I could convince him. You could be a referee, Zila. You know the rules of the club, inside out. I... <sighs> Fine, I get it. If you insist. Competitors, take up positions. <clears throat> well, okay then. I'm ready, Spalrog. We can start any time. I too have a question, Luca of Wildfire. How did you acquire your mechanical arm? <laughs> I'm honored to be one of the things in the underworld that even you don't know about. This arm? Well, it's not that exciting. It's all because I got distracted in a defense campaign. I can't even remember the date of that fight. More importantly, it was only after losing my arm that I found the meaning of life. What it really feels like to be alive. That's why I'm standing here right now, to feel alive. And also for everyone who put their hope and faith in me. Excellent answer. I will treat this challenge seriously, Luca of Wildfire. In the blue corner, Svarog from the Robot Settlement. Are you ready? Ready. In the red corner, Luca from Multimerville. Are you ready? <laughs> Whenever you are. Okay, this is a no-holds-barred contest. One round only. Victory will be declared when one contestant submits, or the fight is stopped by the referee. All right, fight! Let's see some sparks fly. I mean, to be fair, he should be fighting alone, but I mean... Oh, he is fighting alone. That's unexpected. Executing operation. Where's the applause? Let's see some sparks fly! <laughs> Finally! An opponent that can take the punches head on! Uh, strike, but not enough That's why they call you Boss Farag! How about this? I mean... <laughs> not bad! Red contestant down! Ten... Nine... Eight... Seven. No way. Oh, is that right? A long way from tapping out. Let's go. Where's the let's see some sparks fly? Push forward. Uh oh. Done with Transmission blocked. Purge initiated. Calculating results. Executing operation. The winner has been decided. Not Luca. Let's end it here. No, it's not over. I must show you. Well, no. Persistent much? Wait, what was that? Where's the applause. Let's see An achievement? <laughs> you make a strong impression. Luca of Wildfire. I will remember this fight. <sighs> Thanks. But it's not over. Well, I mean, it kind of is. of wildfire it does not matter why you came here i acknowledge your strength your performance was enough to make me reevaluate the limits of humanity <laughs> that's really
And down he goes. <laughs> I mean, he looks none the worse for wear. Don't worry, Zila. Like I said, it was just the exhaustion. Svarog was deliberately holding back. <sighs> Zila... And... Nat? I'm in... the clinic? Where else? You think we'd leave you on Svarog's turf? <laughs> uh, thank you all. I feel much better now. Sorry, Nat. I must have wasted your time. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous, Luca. Still, whatever your motivation was, I hope you can find a different outlet for it. Uh, I'm not gonna let you off the hook that easy. There's more to this story. You need to explain what the heck got into you today. Why did you insist on fighting Svarog? That's on me too. I should have refused him straight away. I had a bad feeling from the start. <laughs> mm. You're always so serious. I've said it before. This is my trip. <laughs> oh, slow down. You haven't completely recovered. Zila, don't pressure him. Let him rest. <sighs> Thanks, Nat. But I'm almost recovered. I have some things to do. <laughs> hey, where do you think you're... Let him go, Zila. I really don't get him. <laughs> Bro is just being a bit of a weeb. Oh my god. Don't get the whole thing either. Maybe he has his reasons. Well, whatever they are, they're not good enough. If he never intended to explain anything to us, why did he drag us along? No, this is too weird. I'm gonna follow him and see what he's up to. <laughs> Keep me updated. You're not too busy these days, right? I'll give you a shout if I need help. Luca didn't used to be like this. I, I just can't let it go. If you must, Zila, try not to worry. I don't want to see you two fighting. Don't worry, Nat. Now that they've left, I have a favor to ask you. What's that? It's easy for Luca to get ahead of himself sometimes, but I've never seen him this headstrong. <sighs> it does make me wonder. Could you ask Oleg how Luca's been recently? I haven't seen much of him lately. It's hard for me to get the full picture. Well, since you Thank asked. You. Regardless of what's really going on, I hope none of you let small things get in the way of your friendship. See you. <laughs> okay, so where do we go? All oh, right, let's check what that achievement was. Revive two down characters in a single battle. How are you supposed to do that otherwise? Like, even if you have Bailu, you can only do it once. Huh. Okay. Yo, we meet again. I thought you all left the way. Oh, this is not nothing to do with this. Oh, my student. Did something happen recently? I was wondering why he didn't come to see me after the championship match ended. Come, tell me about it. Tell Oleg about everything that happened with Luca and Sila. Hmm, mm. that does sound a little strange. Luca usually doesn't push himself so far. Huh, he may be a tough guy on the surface, but he's got his secrets. Did he tell you about the origins of his mechanical arm? Not really. He mentioned something before he fought Svara. Ah. 
then he probably didn't describe the scene in detail. He did not. That was six, seven years ago. I was patrolling with some comrades in the neighboring town of Multamerville. We passed an ordinary mechanic's shop. There was a serious looking fella looking after the shop. He was probably a few years younger than me, but his hair and beard were white as snow. There was a young lad doing odd jobs. He looked pretty exhausted. Anyway, I convinced the shopkeeper to let him come with me. Luca was a fast learner. At first, I couldn't figure out if he liked what I was teaching him. Fighting, weapons, strategy, etc. He didn't talk a lot, just kept his head down. Then, about a year after I took him in, Luca lost one of his arms while rescuing townsfolk from the Fragmentum in Multamerville. He almost didn't make it. He was unconscious for two or three days. I sat next to his bed, anxious and guilty. Guess what he said to me after he woke up? Go on. Master, I feel great. He had bandages all over his body. Most of his wounds hadn't healed yet. But it was the first time he'd ever smiled at me. I still remember that expression. And the moral of the story is... <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry. I get a little carried away when I tell this story. <laughs> What I'm trying to say is Luca views other people's lives as more important than his own. That's how he's always been. So when he says stuff like, this is for training, that's probably a lie. He's hiding something from you, all right? Anyway, I'm too old to be getting involved in this stuff. I'm sure you and Zila can sort this by yourselves. One thing I will ask, please try not to embarrass him too much, okay? He's the fighting champion of Boulder Town, after all. An idol for all the children. He needs to keep up that image. Embarrass him? How would we do that? I feel like he does that all by himself with his slogan. You there? I found Luca. He's on his way to Rivet Town alone. One, Wanna go there together? Coming. I'm waiting for you at the intersection. Come quick. wasn't in a hurry so we should be able to catch up easy enough so we're mm. spying now yeah look there he is let's follow him stay quiet when trailing mode is active the gameplay prompt will appear on the top screen please keep the target you're trailing within your line of sight after your target has left your screen for a set amount of time you will have lost the target oh one of these Okay, well... Whew, thank goodness we didn't lose him. Quick, let's keep up the chase. This doesn't feel right. Hey, let's hide for a bit. Hey, that's too close. Step back a bit. What do you mean? Okay, well this is just... <laughs> Like, that could have been a hiding place there, right next to the building. This doesn't feel right. Hey, let's hide for a bit. I hate stuff like this. Feel right. Hey, let's hide for a bit. This doesn't feel right. Hey, let's hide for a bit. Mm -hmm. Oh, hook. That's a hook. 
What's she doing here? The moles are everywhere. Up to no good. Lucas should tell her to go back to town. He's always worrying after the kid's safety. We've come this far. We can't let this kid ruin everything. Shh, she's coming this way. She just immediately found us. You almost exposed us. Um, why are you sneaking around like this? We're oh, treasure wow, hunting. Oh, that's so exciting. We're gonna lose him if we don't hurry. Hook, run back to town. Stop hanging around here. Uh, okay. That's what Lucas said, too. I hope you two find the treasure. <sighs> Thank goodness we didn't lose him. Quick, let's keep up the chase. Oh. This doesn't feel right. Hey, let's hide for a bit. Yeah, yeah, chill. Feel right. Hey, let's hide for a bit. This doesn't feel right. Hey, we're on oh, not this. Zila, and you too? What are you guys doing here? No, no. He Don't tell me I have to start like from the beginning. You were discovered by the target, maybe give it another try. No, please. They ain't We're so. Lose him if we don't hurt oh, okay, thank God. I hope you two... <sighs> thank goodness we didn't lose him. Quick, let's keep up the chase. <sighs> this doesn't feel right. Hey, let's hide for a bit. Oh, shut up. This doesn't feel right. Hey, let's hide for a bit. Uh, fuck off. This doesn't feel right. Oh my Let's god, I hate this. This doesn't feel right. Hey, let's hide for a bit. Can we be done now? <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Strange. Did he Did he put something down? Let's check it out. A uh, case? I, for some reason, I feel like... We shouldn't open it? Yeah, I don't have a reason, it's just a feeling. Then again, we followed him for ages. It'll be a waste if we don't see what's inside. I wonder what's in there. Here, let me open it. Is this a notebook? It looks like a kid's handwriting. 
in some scribbled art. Have a look. <laughs> Mr. Luca? <laughs> Hello. My name is Margie, and I'm from Old Hammerville, too. I'm a big fan of yours. I've been sick since I was a baby, but I still dream of becoming a big star in the cage one day. Just like you. It's a bit embarrassing, but I wanted my dad to give you this notebook. I wanted to tell you that you've inspired me to keep working hard and achieve my goals, even if it's hard to reach. When I become a fighter as awesome as you, I'm gonna do my best to help people in the underworld. I wanna team up with my friends and help everyone together so they can smile again. I'll listen to their thanks and then yell out my winning slogan. Is this where the... the yeah. <laughs> This is where he got it from. Luca, I think I get it now. Let me guess the kid Maybe passed away. Maybe we should forget about all this. What do you say? I agree. Mm. Maybe one day we can talk about it with him. But let's give him some time. Let's head back to town for today. Good night, Margie. 
Oh, okay. All remains as it did yesterday. Oh, that just finished it. All right. I wonder if we would have gone to talk to him if we chose the other, the other option. Hmm. Oh well. So what's left? Oh right, like I've been uh, keeping up with the swarm disaster. We've now managed to be level 3 and 4. And uh, can beat it pretty much every time. I haven't really tried 5 yet though. <laughs> like, I'm pretty much just going by these quests. Like, the only one that I have open right now is this one. And it tells me to do it at difficulty 3. This was at difficulty 4. So, whenever I hit one that says I have to do difficulty 5 here, I think is when I'll change to try difficulty 5. I still I have no idea how to get these. It doesn't really tell you. Whatever that means. I tried googling it, but I couldn't really find anything on it. Maybe I'll try again today. Maybe something new has popped up, but... So far, I've not seen anyone unlock one of these yet either, so I don't really know. But yeah, that's all for now. We have a little, yeah, under 11 days left on this banner before we can pull for Fushuen. We do have enough wishes now to pretty much guarantee her because I'm at pity 45. So even if I lose my 50-50, I should be able to get her. Which is great. And yeah. Uh, I might record when I uh, try difficulty 5. We'll have to see. I'll have to run a few more difficulty 4s and finish quests. Because it's pretty much these... Um, where are they? Yeah, these abilities here, that just make you strong enough to beat the higher difficulties. Like, you get all of these. So it's should be easy enough once everything's unlocked. But yeah, we'll do that another time. <laughs>